making what we as human beings do anyway. Uh, you know, we gossip. Social networking enables gossip. We like to, you know, make fun of each other and, you know, just used to be pick up a phone call, pick up a phone and chat with each other. Now it's Snapchat and WhatsApp and, and whatever. So social networking is very much like fabric. It, it's like uh, it's like electricity. You know, it's here to stay. Uh, you know, you you just you just will because it is a fundamental uh, automation of of core human behavior that's been around for thousands of years. It just makes it faster, better, cheaper, easier, uh, etc. So you know. It's like asking me, you know, hey, what's the future of electricity or what's the future of water? Uh, it's hard to predict the future of those things. Other than, other than one, one statement I'll make, it, it, is, it is increasingly going to be uh, verticalized. And when I say verticalized, uh, what it means is specific use cases will become their own company. So Snapchat's a good example of you know, WhatsApp is a general purpose app. Now within general purpose messaging apps, there is a very specific use case for a specific type of audience. And now that's its own company, which is worth billions. So look for it really now is a market of niches for the next specialized use case, the next, you know, very vertical application. Horizontal social networking is like electricity, it's, it's everywhere, right? But, but very specialized kind of tweaks to the use cases in social networking is really the future, where, where there's a lot of opportunity. Um, one more question. Uh, from, yeah. A very important, yeah. A very important factor in the success of a startup uh, is the founders that you have, and uh, so you have started a lot of companies. So, what was the process involved in uh, getting these initial founders? Like in the case of Web, when you had many senior executives who might have quit their jobs to start this company. So, how did you actually manage that? Yeah. Okay. Good question. Uh, you know, I, I always say that when you start a company, in addition to identifying the market and your, uh, you know, the, 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 the sort of specific, think big, act small, what's your specific idea, you have to uh, answer two questions. One, we all are very comfortable asking, all right? Which is, the what? Uh, what, uh, what is your startup doing? Well, my startup, uh, a payment company, or my startup is an educational software company, or my startup is an app that will uh, enable users to do a new kind of social network. That's the what. When you want to recruit good founders, you must also answer the question, why are you doing this company? Okay? That is the most compelling reason for people to join you. Okay? If they join you for the what, because as I said earlier, the what may change, right? Because in my case, we were doing online marketing and then we suddenly went to fraud detection. So the what can change very quickly depending on the steep platform. But why you are starting should not change very often. And, and it doesn't mean that the why has the, you know, like, the, oh, I, I, I believe, you know, that the world is screwed up, so I, I want to, you know, make the world a better place. And it doesn't have to be quite so uh, 
general, you know, unnecessary confusion area. But it should be clear, you know, like the good answer to this is when I ask the person, why are you doing this? Uh, some of the better answers I've heard is because I hate the idea of, uh, let's say, there was a guy who uh, proposed a business plan to me uh, last year, which was related to uh, electric bike rental stations so that people could go to different parts of the city and just pick up their electric bike and go to a different part of that city on their electric bike and then pop it there. That, that would solve the issue of uh, having to own a bicycle and sort of having bikes all over in different parts of the city and you could just pick them from and get around. And I asked him why he was doing that. And then, because I hate driving. I hate the idea of getting into my car and dealing with, you know, hours of traffic, pollution, smog, you know, constantly finding parking, which I know in India, by the way, I'm sure you have, you know, in Delhi certainly, okay, you know, I was in Delhi just the last month. All of these are true, yeah, right? But, but he was driven by, he really wanted to get rid of cars. I mean, you know, now, it sounds a little strange and bizarre that some of you guys have gotten to get rid of cars, you probably never will get rid of cars. But, but that passion and that energy is what recruits other people around me. All of them. Because they just see it. They just see that this is a person who is possessed and he doesn't sleep at night. Because he hates cars. <laughs> That's why he's doing his electric bike. And, and that, I think, is. Now, he could have also chosen to come up with some kind of roller skate, or, I mean, like I said, the what could have been different. Okay. <coughs> but the why was he hates pollution, he hates cars, he just hates the driving. And, and that really motivated him to propose this business. Does that, does that kind of help you understand the, uh, the why is when people see the fire in you and they just believe it? Great. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, Peter. That was uh, some pretty good uh, stuff, right? Yes. Okay, thank you much. Okay, Peter. That's a standing ovation for you. Now we've got uh, another call with Carl Mehta. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll uh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Great. Um, okay. All oh, right. 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 Okay. So um, you know we've got Carl Mehta waiting to take the next call. Are you guys tired? Yes. Oh, dinner! You were missed nine thirty. Is dinner? Yeah, it's the last time to close. Okay, okay. So I uh, will reschedule Kalmetta. A quick question: Next Wednesday, we have an opportunity to go to something called Maker Lab. Mm -hmm. Who's heard of it? Anybody heard of it? But anyway, they've started. One of my friends has gone ahead and. Uh, invested a few hundred thousand dollars and con given it to SEPT or something. You heard of SEPT? Yes. yes. So, yes, Motwani Foundation. Uh, so, his wife, Asha Jadeja, I met her yesterday. And she, she's here and she's donated this money. And uh, she's here. So, basically, they are trying to uh, show how 3D printing and all kinds of other things can be now used to develop a next generation of products, right? So uh, they've invited us over for a trip and all that. So is it something that, uh, if I give the address, you all can get there? Yes, yes. yes. Um, should we get, set it up for 6, 6.30? Yeah. Now 15th is a holiday or not? 14th is a holiday. Yeah, 14th is a holiday. 15th is not a holiday. 
Okay, so 15, we go there. Um, so let's try and get there by 7 o'clock. Okay. Is class till 7? Ends at 7? Okay, so we'll do it at 7.30. Okay.